Okay, this does not fit me, but it's Christmas, so I'll let it slide this time. So, anywhere, anywhere, anyway, here's a Coca-Cola Santa story. As everyone knows, or well, as everyone well associates Santa with what? What makes no sense? As everyone knows, Santa is highly associated with Coca-Cola. Uh, there, there's a rumor going around, like probably everyone knows it by now, and that's uh, that Coca-Cola owns Santa, and that's Coca-Cola invented the Santa that's red and jolly and fat and you know, you know the basic Santa image but that's not true we'll just start with some basic information that Santa Claus or uh, Saint Nicholas he lived in the 4th century so he actually was a true being, he was a human being he was wealthy and rich because his parents died uh, when he was very young and left some money for him and he was a very care caring person in general gave people stuff in need and you know you know the basic like everyone should know this story by now but in 1863 I, I have some cheat sheets here um, 1863 uh, in Harper's Weekly a magazine in uh, I have no idea uh, <laughs> great facts right there Thomas Nast created what Santa is today basically. He created the red fat dude with a pipe and white beard and stuff like that. So basically he created the big belly and the pipe. That's all he created and that's it because Saint Nicholas apparently was a pretty slim dude. Um, <clears throat> and you know he, he created the red Santa the one you know from Coca-Cola and today's, you know, this. Um, but that's not really true. In Victorian times he wore uh, the color red, he wore the color green, blue and brown fur even. Uh, but, you know, red was his favorite color before that. In, well, this Thomas Nast's figure of Santa became more and more popular throughout the 1900s to 1930s ish about you know the big belly and pipe after that like no not really after that during that 1920s coke adapted the santa figure to their commercial that's the first time they used him in a commercial after that in 1931 um, a person, I don't know if it's a girl or a man or any other genders that is today, uh, a person named Haddon Sunblum. Sunbloom, I don't know, Haddon something anyway. Haddon Sunbloom, let's say that. Uh, he created what the classic Santa is for us today, uh, for Coca Cola. You know, the red jolly dude and a coca-cola in his head instead of a pipe and that became the classic um, all after all you know coke adapted it and it became more popular after a while I think most people recognize this at least here in Sweden like that's the Christmas commercial when you know the coca-cola trucks come along um, on the screen as a commercial and stuff like that. This is great material. This is great content. You're welcome. <laughs> um, the truck, when they, that comes by on the TV and stuff like that, you know it's Christmas. And that came out in 1995 with the Christmas truck Santa. But, like, as far as we all know, there are several stories about Santa Claus and nobody knows, like, things for true or stuff like that, like, you know, Krampus, uh, helpers, uh, the whole 
finding dead kids. I don't know, there, there's some scary stuff about Santa, and there's really fascinating stories about Santa. But what Coca-Cola agrees with on the popular Santa, the red, fat, jolly Santa, is that Thompson's... Thomas Nast created it, and Coca-Cola don't own Santa. Don't, doesn't own Santa. There we go. English, do you do it? No, I don't speak English. Um, so there you have it. That's a Coca-Cola Christmas for you. Please sponsor me, Coca-Cola. <laughs> and I will see you... Nope. Not yet. Don't forget to like, comment, or hit that subscribe button and we'll see what what I what this dude makes next and I will see you bye